Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this look. Please stay tuned and you can see it. Alright, hold on. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is apply your primer. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I already have my liner. I'm using Stila Smudge Pot in black. That's probably the shade. Yeah, black. And just rub that in. Alright, so this is going to be the first time I've ever used a um, pencil other than milk. So what I, this is a... It's milk. Where did my black bean go? Alright. Alright, so this is black bean. So I'm going to just put some on my lid. I've never used MAC um, grease stick, but from what I've heard, it's a good dupe for it. Man, this is messy. I used to have like every color of the jumbo pencils, but I swapped them all away because they were so messy. Not cool. Alright, so the color that I applied on my lid, not one, sorry, was right there, Beauty Marked. And I just used that same dome brush I used in the last tutorial. <clears throat> and since you already have the black base, it'll make it a lot darker, a lot faster. So, I was just going to use normal Urban Decay Primer Potion, but then I thought about it, and this will make it this will make it to where I have to use a lot less product, and it'll be even darker. Alright, so that is good enough for me, just on the lid. Um, and then what I used was, sorry, I used this uh, crease brush from Sony Kashuk. And I used um, my Antique Red Shadow. I got this from Swap, but you can get this at CoastalSense.com. It's, it says Antique Red, but it's just like a really hot pink. Alright, so I applied that right there. Um, so now I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever palette. Actually, first I'm going to be doing the tape. Take the tape right. Yeah, right there. And then take the same oops, same brush um, used for the beauty mark. Sorry, I cannot talk today. Take my Makeup Forever in 92. And we're going to apply that in the outer V and other places you'll see. So, right there. You want to blend it with the beauty mark. But not too much because you want them to look like separate colors, not just like one shade. So when I put the tape, I like to not just put it to the edge of my eye. I like to take it a little bit down here because it provides like a perfect spot to put makeup underneath, like do you see how I have that right there? It's like there's, gives you the perfect area. Right, and, so take the tape off, whatever. And then you, you're going to take your highlight. Oops. I took 
MAC Shroom. I just put that in my highlight area. I'm getting a And then just blend it. Alright, and you are also going to take your, what is this? It's a crease definer. I use this for blending as well, but I'm going to use it to take MAC Gesso right here and apply it in my inner corner just a little bit. And now, since this look is so dark on your lid, you don't really need to apply liner. So I did a little bit of liner on the top, but not, I didn't do a wing or anything because I pretty much have one. So if you guys want to apply liner, you can do that. I'm just going to apply a little bit towards the beginning by the white, so it just you know, looks like I have eyeliner on, because I do. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Hold on. Alright, so this is the finished look. Um, just a smoky eye with Makeup Forever number 92. And Antique Red, beauty marked. Um, I have MAC uh, Angel on my lips. I have blush, uh, Elf Blush in Bliss. And I have some lashes I got from like China or something but yeah this is the finished look please let me know what you think please comment rate and subscribe all right so have a great day guys bye